so first getting into what are the basic thing while you entering an HTML program so first an updated browser if you have Google Chrome so there is no problem so if you do some browser like Internet Explorer so my honest opinion just use Google Chrome or Firefox developer edition so I'm using Firefox so if you use Google that doesn't matter so Firefox my personal so it's been more attractive so you also need an editor editor like Atom so I am using Atom in complete session so Atom is a free and more 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 there are more UI present in Atom so sublime text it is also one of major using but it is a paid free trial version is also available so you can also use brackets or Microsoft Visual Code so finally Notepad++ this also some some out world genius will use Notepad++ it's, I'm not kidding so Notepad++ is also one of the biggest and simplest editor or compiler so the full form of HTML is hypertext mockup language and HTML was founded by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991 so he is the father of web development from my perspective so a small attention by this end of the course you will feel that definitely pro in HTML but the only thing will affect is my continuity sorry for that friends my native is not English but I will try my level best okay now we are creating a new file file new so I'm just saving so here so the extension of your HTML is dot any name first I'm just entering name of your the page so dot html format so here you could see possibly simple so this is an additional option in atom so we are going more to that doc type html so first what is doc type html so doc type html is nothing but it is not a tag it's just a html which version has been written in your website so doc type it not a tag it just uh, it just showing your program has completely written in this version of the html that's what doc type html so first html so here I'm just ending that so first you could see each and every program should start and stop with HTML so the starting should be as normal like HTML less than a symbol greater than symbol so the ending should be less than a symbol slash HTML this is how oops this is how the program should be start and end so inside this all you should want to write your HTML for your web page program so so next so here you could see lang lang is nothing but it's a language so what language of you has written for your website you can possibly write whatever so it's a Russian language it is a Chi so Chinese I don't know what is that so you can write whatever the language you want so if I so you could see these are all language for your page so I am just using here so you could see here DIR what is DIR so DIR is nothing but it is the direction how the program should be read in 
your return. So here you are say, saying that your program want to read left to right. So that's what it's intimating LTR left to right. So so next we are coming to head tag and body tag. So there is a major difference between head tag and body tag. So head tag includes important linking options or like title section or icon of your browser. So all the thing will be present in, in edge section. So how your browser should want to look like will be present in your body tag. So here you could see meta character set UTF-8. So here UTF-8 is capable of encoding all the characters in your web. So which means uh, I hope everyone knows ASCII code. So ASCII code is all which include all symbols, numbers, small letters and capital letters. So all the letters has been encoded in your program. That's what meta character set. So here you could see title. So title is nothing but if you enter something like coding B. So I am just saving that. So here just a minute. I am opening where it has been saved. Wait. I am just opening with Firefox. So here you could see coding B. This is what title. So whatever you has been written here, if I save like coding to HTML. So here if I save that and open my website and reload that, you could see coding to HTML. So here whatever I has been written that will be present on your top of the website. So this is what title tag. So next. Mm, I so another thing so let's come to the body tag so body tag is the actual function what your website want to do so one what your website want to do it's nothing so this is what actual backbone of your browser so you are creating a web page so whatever the thing will be so head section if I simply say that the head section will maximum being into this only so from here to here whatever you have been entered only in the body tab so coming next to that now script tag script tag is nothing but entering javascript function in your HTML page. So here if I save hello so the script tag so ending the saving the so in here I'm just opening my HTML in Firefox. So before opening that it will show hello this is what alert function this only can do in javascript function this is how you link javascript in html but you could also enter whatever the thing you want so my personal recommendation is to write any javascript in html why means the javascript function is minimum 10 to 40, 100, something like that much of line. So if that line is included in your HTML, your program is not unreadable. Even you can't also cannot able to edit your own thing. So, so I'm just linking that. So, so creating a new file. So save it as one dot js like same it as whatever the thing so save that so here alert 
saying that you created JavaScript function. That's it. So saving that and reloading my web page, you could see you created a JavaScript function. This is what script that you could also enter creating a new file this is the thing will make your program more readable if your program is readable you can easily fix if there are any bugs in your program so this is what script tab so you also see that style tag so style tag is nothing but what are the content in your html page just decorate the thing so Laura, i just entered a paragraph so closing that so here packages package period html so you could so it's also showing this so run so after that i'm just inside that i'm entering p open curly brace background color of mm, what I just go crimson so no no crimson so I'm just deleting that it becomes it showing each and every time saving that so background color to mocassin oops mocassin is also a color so you could see a normal paragraph to colored paragraph so you could also do h1 of your end so here also i'm just saying h1 color of gray see the color changes so here I'm just entering margin of 5 pixel it gives margin so padding of 5 pixel It also given if you aren't able to see the changes I'm just giving 15 pixel you could see the change and this also add a, adding border equal to 2 pixel slowly black face is that why what happened mm. you could see the change this is what style tag entering in your HTML page So first, I'm just entering a paragraph tag. So starting on normal p, ending with slash p. So hi, welcome to coding b. So if I save that, and reload. So you could see what I have been entered in a paragraph section is as it is being present on here. So this is what paragraph each and every characters which means not a character letters or a thing like paragraph a portion whatever the thing is being present in only paragraph tag so so i'm just showing on here itself so that's enough to that so this is what the paragraph tag so next we are going to anchor tag so anchor tag is nothing but it's just linking of some website in your web page so here i'm just copying a google web page pasting that so here i'm just click here for google so if i save that and reload my web page 
you could see click here for google if i click that it will go to the google site that's it this is what a anchor tag which means linking tag linking your web page to another web page so next heading tag so there are possibly six heading tag so i just show you that heading one so just look on the sizes of the heading two heading three so i'm just copying that oops pasting that so guys h4 pasting that so h5 pasting that at 6 pasting that 6 so here you could see six different sizes so heading is nothing but each and every paragraph does definitely have a heading so you could also enter in paragraph tag also so if you are going to something interview or whatever the thing the interviewer has see will see each and every aspect from your program which means what are the different things has been using in your web page it can possibly done in paragraph tag itself if i say um something like style oops it's not a style just a minute Yeah, I'm just saying heading one. Here I'm just including some class. So I'm just style is equal to font size of forty pixel. You could see I can use like this. So. For even more font page bold. So, what is the difference? Nothing. You could also include in paragraph section itself. So, you should know what are the alternate way of using same thing. So, this is what heading. so after that i'm just entering something like quotes so for quotes i need a paragraph so i'm just including a paragraph so here if i say quote you could probably see the reference in this paragraph so there is a open quotes and close quote you could enter if you directly enter double quote you could see the difference between these quotes and these quotes these two are same but the way of look the design is differ this is what normal keyboard entering and entering in the quotes tag so next to that so here in this paragraph you could see there is uh um, the alignment is not good which means the division of points what of the thing it's not good so for that i'm just using a simple tag is break br so it has been divided the dividing of paragraph is nothing but br tag so that's it just i'm going to type just be all that's it this is what the division of paragraph break is will divide your paragraph so after this all
we are going to active section so here I'm just saying div class of one so here I'm just explaining what are tags so tags are nothing but um, if there are group of peoples in front of you you should call a particular one person so how will you call you will call by using their name so here if there are possibly three four divs so here one two three four so here there are four div classes so if I normally call a group of people just listen to me I need third person that's not a decent way so the tag will create a name for that person means name for the tag if I say class is equal to one so inside that I'm just entering p of Lorem so here class is equal to two so here I'm just entering p of Lorem so here the both things are same so here I'm just entering a style I just explain after so style side if I say something like div of calibers mm, back room dash color of gray so here there are two paragraph I'm just entering only a div so three four so here there are four paragraph but you are generally calling div which means you are calling all their names so if I wanted to change particularly three or four so you should call by dot three so I got only third thing alone color changes so the tags are used to make assign the particular name for in the program so div is nothing but division of your program which means uh, the, there are four, four pra paragraph so here you could see four paragraph they are divided by division I could possibly change the direction or the look or floating functions whatever the thing I could possibly changes to that so if I can't directly able to changes using paragraph tag so I need definitely a division tag to change the position or to change a particular thing to change to style the function to create a chord function in bootstrap like whatever the thing you need definitely a division tag that's what the importance of the division okay now we are going to see some topic like bold and italic how to insert some bold items and italic item in HTML page so I'm just opening my packages enable HTML preview so it is a normal letter so you could also make bold okay I think B you could see the character has been changed it's bold you can also do bold in another character is called strong so this is in strong ways okay this is all bold and strong you can possibly use both of the character so on previous video I just said about why you should know the same thing with different character it will be definitely useful in your interview okay now 
let's move on to italic so p so i'm just writing coding b so here this is normal character if i enter i you could see the letter went to cursive means normal character when i entered i you could see the letter has been in cursive so you could also use the same thing using emphasis sorry i think m the same thing so before that i am just writing coding b so this is normal character if i enter em so the same thing em stands for emphasis so this is what bold and italic character entering in your web page so now you are going to see how to insert a comment in html comment is nothing but the character should be inside this so here i'm just writing simply this is comment that's it this is how you handle comment in html so on last video we have been seen about basic and most important tag so now in this video we are going to watch list and table items so first we are going to list so there are two types of list ordered list and unordered list so i'm just saying ordered list li list item of one copying the pasting it time, several time so here so i am just entering only list inside an ordered list so i didn't enter dot one or something else so list will de defaultly assign a value which means like in in word you could see a paragraph division using bullets like that so ordered list will create a numbers you could possibly change if you don't want number you could say type okay sorry type is equal to if i say and just saying all the type you could see the difference i'm just copying that pasting 2 3 4 five. so five times i just enter so here i'm just entering a small a alone you could see small a b c d if i enter capital a capital a b c d if i enter small oops if i enter small i in in romans so if i enter capital i in capital romans so after that this is what ordered list you could possibly enter in five methods so there is on the thing like on order list so i'm just copying the same thing copy so this so the default is rounded you in this also that is having a type you could change the type oops type is equal to circle so that changes so there are two more to possible move a copy that is that two times so here and just centering square square that's what so finally the default thing is this so here you could see a circle type a square type and disk type this is what unordered list mm, i hope you will use only unordered list so i so this is what list is in html so now we are going to see table items in html 
So at first, so entering into table, you each and everything should want to be in table tab. So before that, I'm just saying one most important thing. So in your web page, there is something at tabular item. So only you wanted to use table in your web page. For another function, if you use table, this is the biggest headache in your web page. You can't able to simply changes on your program. So, so first I need a table row. In table row, which means what should present in table. So if I save something after the so th table header of mm, what I say as to small I'm just on entering sorry table header again name Table header of marks. So this is what a header section. So for each and every data, it should start on TR table row content. So first in my first row, that should be present the serial number, name and marks. On my second, so heading header is finished. So now we are coming to data. What are the data? So first, I'm just entering one. So after that, table data of name marks. Okay, that may so more to follow. So th this mark of name is eighty percent. Something like so eighty percent. So in my first row, the serial number should be 1 and table data. What is the name? Whatever the thing. So what is the mark? So each and everything should want to present in table row. The table row should be present inside the table. The how you should enter your table content in your HTML page. So sorry, table data of two so td of chris hemsworth so his mom i like the character so 98 percent so this okay i'm just sorry here i just entered th so there is no th it's td Sorry. So this is how you have you should enter a table content in your HTML. So now we are going to see some text designing in HTML. I think this is some longest video in your session. So first I'm just entering a paragraph of coding b so here if i make the thing small i could eventually enter small oops so starting and ending should be intact so you could make your character small behind the default thing so after the i'm just entering a paragraph tag so here coding is the just copying that so here there is two super thing like subscript and superscript slash so the character 
has been goes up to the world so so that if the thing want to go down there is something like sub code you could see oops smash so so here the character goes up and here the character goes down this is what the difference between sub string and super string so after that i'm just wasting the so here something like underline and slash minus mm. okay so you could see the underline so after the mark slash mark this is what mark tag so after the del tag there is also an alternate names for the same thing slash del sorry so you could see the word has been deleted so like same that you the same thing slash you underline so like same like strike this thing that strike so another thing like yes same thing oops the same thing this is what the initial mock and delete function what are the alternate keyword so now we are coming to span so span is little bit different so here if i copy the thing and paste here so inside the style tag oops inside the style tag if i say span oh god span background color of aqua so that content alone i got a background color you could eventually make the particular character also changes using span uh, if there are several span you could also use a class for that so alternate tag is id so id is on the thing so we like this get letter so this is what the span thing so now oops i'm just copying that pasting that so here we are going to see something like fonts code slash code the character changes you could see here for more readable okay so after the paragraph of well slash for b coding the so this is what the thing so in this video we are going to see character and titles so it is nothing but entering a special character in your browser so 
in here I'm just entering coding B. So here I'm just entering literally some spaces. So here I'm just leave this much of space, but here doesn't show any spaces. So here if you want space, you could use no block space. So I'm just copying that and pasting here. The gap has been increased. So I don't need any spaces. So this is what no block space. So it will make space for your content. So here some tag like pre tag. So pre formatted is nothing but um, I'm just entering a coding this much of space B. So on previous it doesn't have any space even to I have been leave my space. So pre formatted will make whatever the thing how you entered inside that pre tag will be shown as output. That is what pre formatted tag. So in here I'm just deleting to coding tag. So here to paragraph tag you could see there are no spaces. So first I am just showing how to enter a uh, lesser than symbol LT. You could also directly enter that, but this is for some educational purpose. So GT greater than symbol. So after that, Amberson symbol. <laughs> this is what Amberson. So you should use AMP. So the same thing. So code the starting code and a version of Q O T. That's it. This is what code. Mm, after that copyright. So you could see something like copyright symbol, you could possibly do that also copy. So my coding B channel is also registered or so this is what the character M type is. Okay, in this lecture we are gonna to see how to insert image in your website. So before that we are gonna to see some file paths. So here this is where my web page has been here. So inside CB, I'm just having seven images. So outside of that, my folder, I have four. So inside outside folder, inside CB, I just having two. So how could call the image? So first, okay, I'm forgot. So here, I'm just grabbing that image and pasting here first okay now first I'm just wanted to insert my image so what's that image name someone dot jpg so the image has been displayed so I'm just saying with this equal to you could also change the birth and height of your image under percentage so I should eventually change my height also if I say my height oops just a minute so my height is equal to 100 percentage so inside prices Oops, the iris is also 100% so you could doesn't see the changes if I save to 100 pixel you could see the change if I save to 250 pixel you could see that in that 250 pixel 
I just wanted to have my wealth is equal to 100 percentage. You could also be have that. So here you could see alt. Alt is nothing but if your image doesn't shows on your browser, it will so if I something press like quality, um, the quality content alone will be shows with the broken folder image. You could probably see on some website. So here I'm just entering for 500 pixel and with this equal to 100 percentage. So you could eventually change its height and width in that images also. So now we are going to see file path. So that 7.jpg is available on the same where my HTML pages is present. So first I'm just going inside to CD. So inside. So for that I'm I want dot slash CD slash. So I'm just changing my images to six. So this is how you could enter inside the HTML folder. So if I want to grab outside to that. So what's my image name? So four. So here I just want a single slash four dot jpg. That's it. So here I just want this folder inside that. So my HTML folder has been present here. So I just want to my image has been available in this CV. So how could you enter means dot slash double slash CB slash two dot jpg. This is all. So first on direct you could enter directly like seven dot jpg. So inside to the folder you just want to enter dot slash cb slash that image name. So outside to that just you need slash four dot jpg. So in outside available on another folder you need dot double slash the folder name after that slash dot two dot jpg. That's it. This is what the file path. So we have been seen how to insert a image in HTML. This is how you enter the image in HTML. So next we are going to see. Okay, okay. Before that, I'm just show how to insert images on your file. So if I want to make directly in the website just copy that url and paste in source src is nothing but source so that's it this is how you insert images on your web page that's it So in this video, you are going to see how to insert video in your HTML page. So I'm just directly enter my video. So here I'm just entering my mobile dot mp4 format. So it has been auto play. So I'm just removing all the content. So here the you could eventually changes the book. Here also with the sequel to under percentage. So here, so after that, I just want to control in my web page. So enter controls. So you could see the control. So I just want to be muted. So see this friends, M U T E D muted counter. So it has been directly changed into muted. So after that, the final thing is auto play. It will play when the web page has been reloaded. It will automatically play that video content. So now you need to know that you should 
enter your video format in both type so you are in your browser if you enter some video content that should be in two types so first the type is mp4 format and another is ogg format don't forget friends so in some of the browser mp4 content has been not updated so only few browser has been having the update so whenever you insert a video in your browser don't forget to insert the video in both the so here i am just deleting all the thing in video tag just on train source so inside the source i am just entering marvel dot mp4 so here i just misspelled marvel you may all be here marvel dot mp4 so here i also need the in the file has been in mp4 format so after that i'm just copying the same thing i doesn't have an ogg format so i i'm showing how should you should enter the thing in your browser so here mobile dot ogg format so here in video type also the thing want to be in ogg so like this two video format should be in your browser so don't forget to answer to make the format convert the for format of your video into types and then upload to your browser okay in this video you are going to watch how to insert an audio file in your html so after the video the audio file is also same so here i am just having a song of backstreet boys so i'm just pasting the oops i'm just pasting the in dot mp3 format mm, what happened i think if i do controls i could see that so as in video there is the same content like auto play that has been started playing so like as auto play that is uh, content like muted so in video that has been in two format in audio also that also have been a format so what are the format so here there are three formats first thing is dot mp3 so in here audio slash mp3 copy that so what are the other two in audio also there is uh, ogg and aac <coughs> means advanced audio so here in ac format so here also ogg format so like this you want to enter in your website you need two three conversion of your audio files before entering in your website okay in this video we are going to see what are form attributes and how to use form attribute so first what is form attributes so form attribute is nothing but if you are creating some sign up pages you could see name password email so all these contents has been available in form elements only so this is one of the important topics so don't forget by the end of the video you should work out all these things so first i'm just entering name oh sorry name so in here i just want to put input so input type it's normal text so first i am just saying what how can what are the difference thing to input thing after that i just say inside setting on that so here break 
so I'm just copying that this thing several times so second is my email so email so here I'm just entering email input email type of input so third it's my age so age inside the I'm just putting number so fourth I'm just putting a password so in input text password so fifth <coughs> marry here I'm just checkbox so sixth date so in date there are three date time week month there are many things available in date I'm just showing that first if I enter date date time local so year year so week I would like that so year is not that so week so here I'm just putting date alone so date so after that something like <coughs> willing to relocate input type radio okay here after that I'm just entering your color so color is list using the color so so for then LinkedIn page so here I'm just simply entering URL so that should be no space I think so so after that Mm, that is something like file import upload resume so here input type file so after that after that the final thing is range so for range I am just saying expected salary so here I'm just input type of range so this or form attributes so all the things should want to be in form element so form why this want to be in form element means so here this is what send your input data means if I press something like this this form action method post this is a PHP function so this is the thing will send your data to the company side to that particular website owner side so all the things should want to present inside this so after that I'm just showing so here if I enter max length is equal to 15 not 15 you could enter however you can and just simply entering 5 so here I am just entering 5 element so after 5 I am also I'm just pressing but it doesn't work because max length is 5 so after that um, min max so here age in number I'm just saying min is equal to 18 max is equal to 40 if I save that you could see it's starting on 18 and finishing on 40 this is what min max function so here there is something called placeholder so sorry guys I'm just closing the thing
I think now it's more visible. Placeholder thing. Placeholder is nothing but pass. password here so this is the back text if I type something it will go away so after that there is something like in checkbox if I say defaultly check so it will be going to tick even to if I undo this this has been unpressed but defaultly it is checked so after that you could also be in enter in file if I enter something like um, what will be accepting so accept I just if I enter what uh, only image content file content or PDF content text content audio content so you could make desire what is the only content to upload in that particular file items so that is what accept thing will do so now we are going to buttons so button there are two ty three types of button one is normal button so why normal button means in javascript we assign a different work for that particular button so submit button and reset button reset, uh, reset is nothing but it will change us means it will change back to the normal so i'm just showing that btm so button type is submit so another auto fo auto focus is done and just say it on later so here if i press something like submit so i'm just copying the thing so here BR just breaking the thing pasting that so here I'm just saying reset button submit buttons so reset so I am saving that and open a tom browser so if I enter something you could see if I enter submit so include the email has been included uh, so oops I am just interested. so now if I enter something so the file is not found it will be come like that if I enter some age and date to date to that um, color link will be something like that if I press reset it will go back to that so why the page goes to null means because I'm here I'm doesn't assign which where to the data want to send and doesn't assigning the work to that so here if I press something like autofocus so if I save that and reload my page you could see automatically goes to that so I'm just reprogram so I'm just copying that and directly going to that LinkedIn page you could see the reference so I'm just saving that and I didn't press anything if I reload that okay just a minute Oops, I'm just saving that autofocus so first there are two autofocus functions so I'm just raising in on email so here if I erase that and reload that it will defaultly goes to that LinkedIn page autofocus is the first preference that you are assigning to so after that there is some options like select so select class there are select uh, so I'm just simply assigning my name to that class so after that I'm just saying option value option value is one what is your education qualification sorry 
Education. Qualification. So here I am just simply entering um, something like DSC. Copying that. Oops. Copying that. Pressing two times. So here PhD value of three here two here I'm saving to MSC. So if I save that you could see BSC, MSC and PhD. There are three possible options. So you could also do or play like something disable if I press save that it will completely PhD is disabled and I'm just closing that so if I save selected so it will defaultly goes MSC to selected so after that here if I do something like multiple you could see that thing will goes to that so here I just take two values from that select option so multiple will show like that so here if you press disable so complete select option has been disabled this is what select option so after that there is something like text area So here I'm just bringing be open to me. So after that about yourself. So here I'm just entering input sorry text area. Text area you could see something like this so here you could enter the default value means how could I say you could enter the things or you can enter max length of 90 like that you could also may enter like that so here if you enter something like value is equal to Mm, tell about yourself tell about yourself so saving that here I'm just saying only read only so here just a minute input in text area value is correct just is this is in colon Mm. Why does it not open? So I'm just entering like placeholder. So eliminating the thing. So here tell about yourself. This is only I can able to read. I can't able to press. So you could enter your company details, but only can read the thing. You could use read only option. You can also use disable option that will completely ghost block. That's what the difference. This is what the form elements. So the first session of this course is going to be a CSS selector. CSS selector is nothing but to select the particular content in your program alone want to change the style or color whatever the thing you want so you need to call that particular thing so for calling functions particularly we assign a local name so that name is called selector so we are going to see first I'm just creating a new file so here I'm just save it as one dot html so HTML, I'm just wondering. So I hope you know about HTML. Um, there is a particular tag is called 
style tag so in style tag you could possibly make the css in your html so like i'm just entering style tag so before that i'm just putting a paragraph of lorem so after that in style tag i'm just entering p of background color go to 3 pixels <coughs> oh sorry i'm just cousin sorry cousin this is the correct spell okay my cousin so after that i just need a border of 3 pixels solely solely silver so now here i am just saving that preview html you could just me a cousin so here you could see the styled content of your html program that's what style tag do for you so for one line program itself you could see there are four four line styling section if all the content in html you can able to style in your html page itself but it will make your program unreadable even you can't also able to read your program or find a bug to clear them it is the toughest way so here i'm just deleting that i'm just creating a link so here you could see rel rel is nothing but relation relation is what style sheet style sheet shows that if the function you has been linking is to style your html content so here href is nothing but linking you could see on anchor tag so here i am just creating a new file and saving as one.css so that's it so here i am just entering the same thing p of background color is equal to cousin so border is equal to 3 pixel solid silver so here i am just saving that you could see the same thing but your this program is also readable and this program is also readable this shows that particular content so this is what calling by tag name so you could also call div class so you don't need a class i'm just coming to next to that question so here i'm just saying around so same thing just saying div is background color of crimson um border the same thing three pixel solid gray so this what that div container so this is how you call the tag name this is what calling by tag name in css selector so you has been shown about tag name now we are going to see how to call by class name so here i'm just saying class form so class name is nothing but i'm just copying that pasting several times so deleting all that thing So here I'm just saying that here this default p indicate all the p's. So I just want to change particularly this alone. You could possibly do that. So here I'm just saying dot one 
so background color of indigo and border of one sorry three pixel solid aqua so if i save that you could see i'm just calling that particular content here p class alone i'm just saying you need to change particularly this alone so i'm just using the class so here in css page i use that class name by using dot so whenever you call the class name don't forget to use dot so if dot is nothing and just save that it doesn't call if i use dot only it the function will execute so that is another way call id id is equal to 1 so in id just doing the same thing mm. so for calling id you use slash address so the same thing Placing that here apart from indigo i'm just using gold and for that i'm just using silver so here you could see the change this is the another way of calling so now we are using class is equal to first and i'm just copying the so pasting the so there are two things here alone i'm just entering a class is equal to second so i just want in the div container the first p alone want to change the thing so how could you do that so i'm just removing the so sorry using dot first comma dot second so if you save that you could see a change which means that particular content is alone change but you could see the second thing has doesn't changes anything so this is particular way of calling that so here i'm just saying complete first so if i say hash first so this is the clean if i use dot it will assign complete dot means for that complete container inside that so don't forget if you want to call inside that another function use this as id so id saving that here i'm just using the same thing sorry same thing oops, oops, class okay you could see none of these changes so this what represent this is just a class name so in that class name this is calling a second this is what particular calling in that function so next if there are i need to change these two alone so two multiple calling so multiple calling is nothing but i'm just already enter one so here calling slash two saying that sorry come on slash two so you could also call multiple elements using comma and the another class so this is what a selector now we are going to see some thing like ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm just removing all the classes so here also i'm just removing the so here there are five p's in that element so if i want the first thing first p alone change the color you see that you could see a normal thing 
so p of first child so first child so i'm just showing color is equal to gray mm, so the first thing alone color some for more readable i'm just using some color like red <coughs> sorry friends so the first content is alone changes its color so there is a alternate claim if you want the lost child you could call lost that's it so lost color also changes its color so if you want the center thing so yanth child of i just want third thing want to change the color so color of blue so save that so the third thing alone changes its color so just copy two more time so here you there are totally seven pieces so if i want yanth child want to be in down side to up so you could also do that by last child plus yanth last child sorry yanth last child of two so i'm just color to lime green saving that so for one two this is the last second thing as changes its color this is what the particular thing calling so there is another thing is called before and after so here i'm just saying before quantum is equal to hi saying that so in all the thing you could see the whole content high content has been the so if i say something like after content is equal to by so saving that so for all the thing you could see by content and before means that before the paragraph section so in before paragraph section i am just saying hi so after the end of the paragraph section i am just saying by this is what before and after function so this is css selector so next video we are going to see css colors and unit So now in this video we are going to see CSS unit cascading style sheet unit so so units and color so first I'm just showing what are the colors so I'm just simply uh, div class of one inside the header oops it's not a header just calling h1 of 1 so below that paragraph of flora so here this is a paragraph inside the do section so here i'm just saying dot so dot 1 so on last video we i'm just enter all the content in only using names so like indigo see that so all the content so here if i want to use alternate types of using color you could also use so what are the types so you could directly mention the name or hexadecimal codes or rgb content rgb is nothing but red green and blue there is another thing is called or gba alpha transparency which means um how could i say it's mean like 
a mirror it's not a reflecting mirror just a building mirror like that so it will transparent the color alone so hsl is also same like that so hsl is nothing but hue saturation lightness in hsl also there is having hsla so first i'm just mentioning the hexadecimal code so here i'm just saying h1 equal to slash ffff so save that it's a white color if i say slash 000 save that it's a black color so just saying 050 so it's a green this is what hexadecimal entering there is also a six code you need like slash 000 so six content is also available so this is what how the way you enter hexadecimal content so uh, now i am just showing rgb content so saying that my thing want to be 238 comma 209 comma 255 just a random number between 255 0 to 255 you could see a light color so for what thing background color for gb so here you could see so i can also use 255 80 comma 80 so i already picked my number so this is other color this is how you enter rgb in hexadecimal which means 0 to 255 so here i am just entering rgba to 0 0.5 just note the color changes after saving this file so you could see the lightness in your color that that is a norm that color alone so it will reducing the transparency so if i say 0 0.25 no color 5.75 no color 0 0.90 even more that's what rgb content so here in hsl content also hsl so in hsl i'm just 0 to 390 i think so yeah 390 so first thing is value to 0 to 390 second thing is 0 to 100 percent third thing is also 0 to 100 percent so i'm just randomly entering 80 comma 100 percentage comma 35 percentage sorry okay 32 percentage saving that so if i say 72 percentage changes the color here i'm just saying 50 percentage changes the color here 75 here i'm just using 90 so even though i'm just saying 155 saving that changes to blue so 260 change that change to violet so 350 save that something like pink so this is what hsl so in hsl also alpha so alpha transparency i'm just saying that 0 0.5 changes that 0 0.75 changes that that's it this is what how entire color content in html so now we are going to see units so units are nothing but um how do i say each and everything is has a measurement so like what my our web page has a measurement our mobile device has a measurement of screen so if you take some media queries our web page has 576 pixel so 768 pixel for tablets 992 for um, laptop desktop 1200 for large desktop so each and everything you have a measurement so that measurement content i'm just showing that so here i'm just saying dot one so okay already that no so here i'm just saying font size is equal to 20 pixel so all the thing has been changed multiplied into 20 unit if i say 40 unit you could see even more so pixel is nothing but i hope everyone knows about pixel like 1080p 
so 2k pix 4k pixel means 2160 to 1920 like that content which in stands in a pixel so now i am showing image so for that i need an image so first i'm just copying that image so i copy that so fine for min and max function i just show something silly like pizza example that is the simplest way of learning min and max function so here i'm just entering an image of file.jpg you could see a bigger image so i'm just even more loading on website so i think i doesn't save that function so i'm just save and reload that why it doesn't showing file save so you could see that blue dot means it doesn't save oh now it save so if i reload that you could see image completely irrational which means i am just enter it is completely one frame unit means this is one frame unit so here i am just minimizing that here i am just assigning class to the so we you could also use here itself with this equal to 100 viewport built under bwy it's not working so i'm just show it in class itself class is equal to image saving the so in here dot img now uh, dot img so open code this i'm just saying with is equal to 100 viewport with if i save that my image has been changes to 100 percentage of the width if i reload that you could see 100 percentage of the width i just got that so on last you could see more difference from this and think this i'm just removing this content so save that so you could see 100 percentage of my width so you could also you so if you save 50 percentage of work you could see only off page only it has been covered that is viewport work so here i'm just saving height is equal to 75 viewport height if i save that you could see the image has been getting lender it shows this image want to cover 75% of high and 100% of width which is available in available space if i even to get more it the page you could see the difference if i say here also 75 save that so you could see 75% of width and 75% of high this is what we put width and we put high so let's coming into rem and m rem is nothing but so here i'm just using a paragraph of classes equal to 1 so rem to spm so here the same thing so p class is equal to to the same lorem so i am saving the in here i am just removing my background so font size is equal to 16 pixel saving the so in dot to font size is equal to 1 rem if i save that you could see no changes because so if i is seeing 32 pixel you could see in here i am just saying 2 rem save that so both the thing are same 1 rem is equal to 16 pixel 
that's one its basic calculation so coming to m m is little bit of something i don't use m even one program is also so in here i'm just using active class of one so here i'm just saying some lorem content so inside the i'm just dragging out and pasting over here so deleting this so for more readable I'm just enable preview so packages and on beautify so here you could see some content which is inside the body tag in body tag there is div tag inside the div tag i got my p tag so for basically i'm just saying in body tag i want font size is equal to 2m so in one which represent div class i just want font size to 2m so here in dot to i just want font size of 2m so saving that so yeah, i'm just entering something like Okay. So packages at home. Sorry, preview. Enable preview. You could see the first thing entering into 2m. Second thing is in one font size, and third thing in different font size. So for three thing, I'm just saying only one font size. So for more readable, just deleting it out. So here also, I'm just deleting that down. Here, oops, control is up. Okay. So it's multiplying its size. So that's what M. So now in this video we are going to see CSS unit cascading style sheet unit. So so units and color. So first I'm just showing what are the colors. So I'm just entering uh, div class of one inside the header. Oops, it's not a header. Just calling h1 of 1 so below the paragraph of lorem so here this is a paragraph inside the div section so here i'm just saying dot so dot 1 so on last video we i'm just entered all the content in only using names so like Indigo, say that. So, in this video, we are going to watch the aligning properties in CSS. So, first, you could see a box with margin 0. So, if I say margin is equal to 5 pixel, so it will leave spaces of 5 pixel from all the corners so you can also enter margin left of 5 pixel to leave space outside that box of 5 pixel so margin top 5 pixel means top of the margin alone 5 pixel space so like that you can assign this is what margin so coming to border you could see that black line is zero the slice is defaultly margin of five pixel but inside that box i doesn't see any border if i say border of one pixel so that box outside content which means 
the edge of the borders it shows that so now we are going to see padding so inside that box first margin denotes outside the box border denotes edge of the box so padding denotes inside the box if i say padding is zero so you could see some character at the edge of the border so if i say padding to 3 pixel it will leave space to here to here and here to here you could also enter margin left or margin right margin top margin bottom you could enter whatever the thing but the action you can see only inside that box if you enter margin is outside the box so border it's the edge of the box this is for the difference between margin padding and border so let's see on program so here i'm just entering something like do class of one inside that paragraph of Lauren. so you could see some character so i'm just default entering dot one of background color to crimson so saving that you could see crimson color background so before that i am just saying store so the store is also the type of the selector so store indicates all of the thing available to a to z in the program so here i am just assigning margin is equal to zero and padding is equal to zero saving that so complete content why that space means so css has default margin and padding if you enter like this so the margin has been zero for all the content available in html so here i'm just saying margin is five pixel so saving that so it leave the space five pixel from all the sides you could oh wow sorry it's 50 pixel so i'm just saying 15 pixel so 15 pixel from all over the side so i can enter margin top alone so saving that you could see only top content alone i'm just saying in top alone you leave some spaces to 15 pixel margin left 15 pixel so left content that those the short term that margin denotes that top left bottom and right all the thing so margin i'm just saying to complete of 25 pixel so that's it so this is what margin so now coming to border you could see nothing in that edge of the border so you can able to do that one also border size sorry it's not come border border of one pixel so border color of silver border style is equal to solid so if i save that you could see some silver thing if i save to 10 pixel you could see the silver thing is being around that box so here there is a short short and property in css you call border 10 pixel means what type solid type of what color so it's black so saving that so this is the short end property i'm just doing to four pixel so this is the short end property so we seen about margin and border so now coming to padding so padding to five pixel if i save that it will leave space inside that box 15 pixel so you could see inside that particular box so margin denotes outside area border is this padding is inside that thing 
so you could also enter i just want padding left content alone 15 pixel so i just got only left thing alone this is for margin padding and border thing in css so in this video we are going to see display positioning and box sizing properties so i'm just created five div sections you could see with empty box so for each and every class i'm just assigning height of 40 pixel and width of 100 percentage with the background color for i for five these so i'm just opening preview so here why it isn't showing on that css just a minute okay this is preview of css sorry so i just wanted to preview on html enable preview you could see five boxes means five rectangular boxes so first we are going to see static static is nothing but it is a default means um, nothing going to be changed in this position so you could see position is called to static if i save that you could possibly see no changes so coming to fixed so here i'm just saying some content so in this i'm just saying position of fixed if i save that so that fourth box will be shows first and fifth box doesn't show means the fifth content has been downside of the fourth content if i show something like b or line breaker i'm just copying that and pasting several times so there are several number you could see when i scroll you could see fourth color but that fourth box which means this box i have entered a moccasin color you could see whenever i scroll this content uh, is also being fixed to the screen that is for position fixed so now as same like we could see position sticky position sticky so position sticky is nothing but it will shows that um this position will be do some action when we also scroll that particular thing if i say position sticky so where so don't forget when you use position sticky option you want to say where it want to stick if i say top of 50 pixel if i save that so you could see whenever i scroll this content is also first it acts as normal but when i use scrolling option you could see it has been in the top so for more detail I'm just <coughs> saying here the line break option. So here, so this is my fifth content. This is my fourth content. Sorry, this is my fourth content. This is my fifth content. So now I'm just saving that. So top to 10 pixel. If I save it as like this, so you could see when i scroll that it will act as normal but when it reach top 10 pixel it will stick to the screen so position star position fixed show that fixed to the screen position sticky store that when the function reach the particular condition it will stick whatever we has been coding so you could see it been fixed to the top of the thing so relative is nothing but if i say position relative so this is a fixed box you know when i press the relative it means like giving motorcycle to someone so here if i am saying like bottom of 250 pixel 
if i save that it will be gone so it's been in the bottom 250 pixel so for more readable i'm just saying bottom of 1 pic 150 pixel so saving the the content has been moved but my web page so just a minute i'm just saying store fully raise oops just a minute close all so here i'm just saying height of 400 pixel if i say that and here in this 150 pixel why it doesn't show me so here i'm just saying bottom to so 50 pixel okay 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 so bottom is considering in that bottom of the question if i say from the top of 250 pixel if i save like that it will goes to 250th pixel mm, even to like i'm just saying top 500 pixel if i save that so you can able to move particular content so bottom indicates it has been reading bottom to top so from bottom it has been saying here so top it will be move from top bottom will be move from bottom so i just enter bottom 500 pixel the thing goes upside of the browser so it has been not seenable so now we are going to see something like position absolute so position relative and absolute are like cousins why i am saying means so position absolute and position relative is been like more or less same so i am just saving the here i am just moving relative option so no saving as so you could see i just moved relative but top of 500 pixel it doesn't change anything because the position relative is needed to move any objects so i am just saving that so here position sticky so there is no absolute so here i am just inserting a image called file.jpg the image has been here so then what is equal to 100 percentage so now i am just setting a class equal to image so after that i am just including some text also so for p class equal to text so here i am just saying program so if i save that you could see these both same images and the letters which i has been entered so now in dot image i am just saying position absolute so in dot text so first i am just saving that you could see the text has been goes behind the image if i save dot text is in position of relative if i save that you could see the text is behind the image so means you could see the image which means absolute consider this box is a absolute if you enter something relative you could possibly move the particular thing inside absolute box only you can't able to move outside of the box so you could if you enter directly to the relative you can possibly move wherever you want if you enter absolute you can only move to the absolute box so here this is an absolute box you could move whatever thing in the box only top of 20 pixel so you could see only moves 20 percent if i say 200 pixel so even to i'm just saying 400 pixel it been goes to that okay 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 just me just me 
So now we are going to see what are box border box option. So I'm just removing all of this content. So here to I'm just removing that. So I'm just entering two divs of one. Inside that I'm just entering p of the ram. Same as like div class of two. I'm just saying p class of Florent. So I'm just saving the as so here also I'm just saving. So you could see two paragraphs. So here I'm just dot one of open curly brace. I'm just saying the box sizing border box here background color of crimson and border thing so border also I'm just including border equal to two pixel solid black oops solid black so high in which here I'm just saving that so here you could see the thing so I'm just sending some width equal to 450 pixel so same thing I'm just copying that and pasting here in this I'm just saying dot 2 so that you could see something box I see here I'm just saying content box So here the same thing. Mm, okay, okay. There are two things you could possibly change. Watching bottom of twenty pixel. Just for me. So you could see two things on same thing here also. I'm changing color for showing the difference. So here, as in, so saving that. Here, this is a content box, this is a border box. So now, if I enter to 2 pixel to 20 pixel, I am saving that. So here too, I am just saying 2 pixel to 20 pixel and saving that. The most common property of same, but here I am just putting border box and here I am just putting a content box. So, border box is nothing but if in border box the width has been assigned to 450 pixel, whatever the thing you enter inside to that, it will be inside that 450 pixels only. It will not extend the size. So, content box is nothing but, so it will show this is a particular content. So on the content, it will add the thing. So here, and if I say 20 pixel to 40 pixel, so saving that, you could see the same thing here also, I'm just putting 40 pixel. So it is a complete 450 pixel width. It is also 450 pixel width plus 80, 80, width, 80 pixels of width. So here 40, here 40. So so totally 80 pixel has been added. This is what the difference between border box and content box. So in all the program you returning, if something has been changes, you could see margin is equal to zero, then padding equal to equal to zero and box sizing equal to border box. So, when you are writing a program in CSS or doing some work, these three things are more important. So, if you are assigning some width properties, border box will perfectly fix to that width. 
if you use content box it will add whatever the thing you has been entered inside the content box this is what the main difference between border box and border content box so here we are going to see display property for display property i'm just using some do of one so i'm just copying that pasting two times mm, here also i'm just writing three here two here one so sorry it's different it has so okay here i'm just saying that you could see nothing so now i'm just making a box content of each so dot one with mm -hmm. is equal to 50 pixel um hi is equal to 50 pixel um taking some background color of teal so copy that making it as 75 75 see that could see this thing two times oops so here i'm just saying crimson so 75 75 75 here i'm saying the two maroon Three, two. Save that. You could see three colors. So now, if I say something like inside that, I'm just entering some content. So division. I'm just doing that, pasting twice, three and two. So here I'm just saying display in line, copying that, pasting twice. So if I save that, you could see only it concentrate the character which present inside the element. It doesn't work on the width and height. It will just concentrate only on that character. So even vertical to horizontal. So now you could see something like box, sorry, blocks, display block. So here also I am saying display block. Here I am saying display block. If I save that, you could see it's seen like before. So block is default function. So that is another option to make vertical with corresponding units. That is called inline block. So here I'm just saying display inline block. So here I'm just saying inline block. If I save that, I got box and in vertical. This is what the display function. So flex is also there. So let's see on later. So now in this video, we are going to see how to use font properties. So font properties, nothing but the fonts which you are using in HTML, making some designs on that, some color on that. So now I'm just saying that. So here, 
P. Open paragraph. So first property, you know, font size. So font size is nothing but creating size for the fonts available. So 40 pixel. I'm just saying that. So you could style using something like font font style italic or like that option also available if I say italic so you could see the content has been changes to italic so that is some other option oblique also person so now font family option font family means like sans serif sheriff the like option family so sheriff so if I say that you could see the changes. So if I save chance serif, save that. So the forms has been changed. So you can also use Google Forms. So Google Forms is a collection of forms. There are more forms as well available. So here I'm just taking the form. So here you could see an import option. So import, I'm just copying that import only, taking that. So pasting on here. So now I'm just taking a phone family of that particular thing. So here I'm just removing the thing and pasting that. Save that. You can see the changes in my page so there is another option is like font weight bold italic like the functions oops i'm just out of the thing so here i'm just saying font weight equal to bold i see that the complete character has been changed into the bold this is four most font properties used in your css Okay, now in this lecture, we are going to see Flexbox. So for the Flexbox, I need some content like main here inside that. I just need some div class of one edit. So I'm just copying that. So here. One more time. So finally, five, four, three, two. So a complete thing. So I'm just saving that. In that here, I'm just saving eighteen. So on the important thing, you could use two classes for single function so for i'm using same class name for five content which means i'm just saying something same for this all function but one thing will differ on that so here i'm just saying <coughs> so i'm just first mm, with this equal to seventy-five pixel, height is equal to seventy-five pixel. Background color like cousin border equal to one pixel solid. So I'm just using three pixel dash black it's more beautiful okay i'm just leaving margin of five pixel so you could see a perfect thing so now the all the thing are in horizontal so before that we are going to see Flexbox and properties. Just pause the video and take this note. 
I think everybody has shown that. So now I'm just going into the main, just entering display flux. So it has been completely goes to vertical. In that image I just showed row in bracket I just say default, which means if I press display flex, it will defaultly goes to vertical. So I am just assigning some background color of light gray and height is equal to 70 pixel, 500 pixel width is equal to 100 percentage mm, even more I'm just adding border one pixel solely will defaultly assign to black so I'm just checking this my width is 100 percentage yeah it's 100 percentage so now first I'm just saying flux direction to row it doesn't change because it's defaultly in row if I say row reverse so it has been changed the content so here I'm just adding something like numbers to move 3, 4, 5 so here I'm just saving that in here I'm just saying form size equal to 15 pixel doesn't change this and if it's 25 pixel so here changes mm -hmm. so here font weight to bold so I just displayed row reverse so number has been reversed so here if I say to column so it display in column if I say column reverse so the thing is reversed this is for flex direction so there is another property is called flex wrap so for flex wrap I am just saying I'm just copying additional content so there are five boxes so here I'm just removing the flux direction saving that you could see the image has been compressed if I save flux wrap is equal to no wrap So the image should be on out if I say with this equal to 500 pixel I'm just saying that wrap so you could see the difference it will automatically assign that means the box has been defaultly changes its place when I change the property to wrap, if I say no wrap, it just saying I am just creating more function, so there should be no changes in that. So if I say flex wrap to wrap, so I am just entering additional boxes. You edit whatever you want means according to the fox first function. That's what flex wrap. So so there is another thing is called flux flow flux flow is nothing but it is a combination of flux direction and flux wrap so here I am just saying row no wrap saving the it just saving to here and just saying row reverse and no wrap so it has been reversed with no wrap so I am just saying to wrap it has been changed flex flow is the combination or uh, shorthand property of both flex direction and flex wrap
so here i'm just removing that now we are going to see justify content so before that i'm just removing the five boxes so here to save that so i'm just back to 100 percentage so saving that so here i'm just saying justify content to flex dot it is default play in flex dot if i say flex and save that so the content has been moved to the end portion so that is another property called center so center space around space between space around you could see the difference space between so this is what justify content so justify content is going in a horizontal line sorry vertical line so align content so align items so there is a align items so align items will go in horizontal section so here i am just saying flux end so here i am just saving the content has been goes down you could see the difference at first it has been in here but now justify content will choose here for this one line so align item shows this in horizontal section that's what the difference so here too there is a center like the property it will defaultly assign the value to that so that is what align items and justify contents so there is a, another property is called align content so i'm just removing that all saving that so here i'm just creating more boxes so align content you probably need more contents so here i'm just saying align content to center so just a minute oops i need a uh, flex flag because there are more number of box if we align that box only we can change the we can see the difference so here i'm just saying flex wrap is equal to wrap so here you could see the content has been in center here if i say flex n so the content has been goes to down this is what align content a group of a group of characters means i am not saying character a group of contents which you are assigning a value so for align items and justify content there will be three or four items only for align content the total number of content which is more than 10 or more than 5 you could possibly changes all the thing but you need a flex wrap it will seem more beautiful so here all the thing you have been see that so now i am just showing that order so first then you could see dot one order is equal to five so the one goes to that five place so here dot two order is equal to four you could see the difference so dot three order three so dot three order three so now dot four order four oops sorry order two you could see the difference dot five has been all already in one so you couldn't mention that and you could change the place to one like that whatever thing you want so that's what order so now we are going to see align content so align self is nothing but you are particular content means particular item alone you are moving to another place so here align self 
to center. So here I'm just removing align content, saving that. So you that four box alone gone to center. So here I not need this much of boxes. I'm just removing it all. Save that. So you could see that fourth content alone center, but another content has been in another place. If I say door three align self is equal to flex in. I save that the third line alone goes to the down. So justify content align item align content is for group of characters. So align self is for particularly one thing on that. So this is what align self. So finally we are coming to something like flex, flex basis, flex shing and flex grow. So I not need this much. So removing all of these here I'm just assigning good to 80 pixel so to show the reference mm, not 80 so 100 okay first I'm just having only two classes so removing all this so first order so here you could see two boxes first I'm just saying flux basis to 300 pixel just copying that copying that here I'm just pasting that you could see it carry complete of 300 pixel so here first to flex group here there is some gap you could see there is some gap I need my screen size is not fixed thing I could use on screen on here or here or here whatever thing I need but the space will remain same I'm just saying only to 300 pixel alone so here I'm just having an empty space if I want to cover that I'm just using a property is called flex grow to one so here I'm just saving that you could see it just carrying the free spaces that two will remain in 300 pixel but that one will what will I say it is collecting grabbing the free spaces so now here I am just saying flux grow to 2 you could see here 2 has been taking more places than 1 so here whatever the thing you want if I say 5 to this if I maximize the the two will take carry a more value so when it growing you wanted to see difference that is called flex grow so when I shrink to small I need to want to do see the difference so that is called flex shrink so here I'm just entering flex shrink to one so you has been seen that a default position of 300 pixel saving that so here I'm just removing flex pro to show a clear thing I'm just copying that pasting here closing with semicolon so flex string to one so when I close that it is equal to 100 percentage why this is not working why it is a problem I'm just trying to rectify this so I'm just doing that 
with this 100 percentage correct side 75 mocas in three pixels of solid back small zero okay old okay 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 here flex track is to wrap so wrapping is defaultly changes to size according to the particular i'm just removing that so now if i save that when i minimize that you could see the box is also minimizing here i'm just saying flux string to two here flux string to one so if i say flux string to five and save that you could see first box alone when i try to compress this first box is carrying more spaces than second so when i maximize this if i say flux go to two So here I'm just saying flux to to two, which means carrying space evenly. When I minimize that, it will carry a small amount of place comparing to two. If I maximize that, it will take space evenly. This is what flex pro strength and basis. So I am trying to make the program in one word flex of Two comma five comma three hundred pixel, which shows that flux two means flux basis, flux shrink, sorry, flux grow, flux shrink, and flux basis. So I'm just copying that here, replacing that. So you could see no difference than the old program. So I'm just copying that. So Flex to one, saving that. You could see difference. So that's what a flex, complete flex. I tried to make short end of this video. I cover all the things in flex. So this is what flexbox, one of the most important tool in CSS. Okay, this is one of most important topic, grid. Grid is also same as a normal function. So here I'm just entering one. So here I'm just writing paragraph of head. So here I'm just copying that pasting the two times so now two here three here four four so now I'm just entering optical so now here aside and finally, it's footer. So save that. So I'm just doing it almost a two class container. So I'm just keep pasting that all the thing. So save it that. So here, I'm just showing it all, saving that. So first, we are coming into some margin issue. So margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, order box. So save that. So first, I'm just saying dot container and display drag so here you could see no changes why means this is normal function so there are two major thing is how you need template of row template column means how much row how much column in which size you need a row in which size you need a column like this all the thing are available so now i'm just 
entering grid template column so grid template column you could enter i need 120 pixel and 120 pixel if i save that you could see the page has been divided because i'm just saying two times if i save only one time you could see one time so if i save 120 pixel 120 pixel three times i got three thing so this is great you practically assign one complete website within short time so here i'm just doing some design sorry design so i'm just copying that pasting that pasting that pasting that pasting that so in here i'm just in go design background color white gray border and pixel solid black so i got the padding 20 pixel so this thing move readable so first we have seen template column which means you measure the thing all the thing on the website you could also do in repeat three comma 120 pixel the same thing will show so if i say shoot the same thing will do so here to measure the complete so mm, some of the laptop size will be this this and some of them using in larger monitor so for that purpose we don't know all the sizes of the web pages so for that the web grid option has a perfect conversion is called frame unit frame unit nothing but if i save two comma one year for this is how you can save frame unit so it has been dividing the screen even i maximize the screen so if i save three comma one year for you could see it has been evenly dividing their pages so here now i'm just saying the grid template row so grid now we have been seen about grid template column now we are so here i'm just saying same thing repeat three comma one yeah four so say that so i'm just saving four comma one yeah four so first you think probably like this so if i move to the program you could see something detailed so first i'm just calling dot one before that we are going to see how to count the grid cells so you have watched about how to count the grid cell so first i'm just doing that red column start at one grid template column and end at it is from four units so end at four so if i save that sorry I'm just in grid column and at four. So the counting start from one to two, 
2 to 3, 3 to 4, sorry, it's not 4, it's just 5. So I got 5 then. So here, after that, I'm just saying 2, same thing, grid, column, star, Uh, one and then in that placing that in that one to two two to three three two I'm just saying four one to four facing that I got four thing and as I is being same like that so now here I am just saying dot 3 of copying same thing paste that here I am just saying 4 to 5 that's it so you could you know change the chain to complete the process I am just did that so here I am just saying 1 to 4 sorry 1 to 5 if I save that, this is a perfect browser. You could have edge section, vertical section, and aside section. So you can also make minimized version of this. So I'm just saying grid column one slash five. So you could see no changes. If I say one plus four, you could see that. So this is the minimized version of writing that. You can even minimize that. Before that, we are going to see what is grid caps. So grid cap, I'm just saying five pixel. If I save that, I got gap between each boxes. This is what grid cap. If I say 5 pixel and 10 pixel, you could see this is along 10 pixel. I mean it represents the row, it represents the column. That's it. So if there is six rows, here I am just saying one to four. I also want the column to grid dash. Sorry, I just want to go from two to six. I'm just saying six. So six to seven is footer. So two to six. If I say that this is complete thing. So in three also, I'm just doing that same thing here also. So this is how it looks like. Head section means navigation bar, main article, aside article, then footer section. Simplified version of creating a website is great. So here there are more clumsy things. You could also write in more minimized way using this. Great area so the one of the most how how could i say most innovative thing in css grid is grid template area so i'm just saying grid template slash area yes so beside that I'm just saying head head so here I'm just using four frame units so I want to write four times head 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 so here I'm just entering six times so I need to do that four Six times the same thing. 
art art you can enter whatever the name you want that's not an issue i'm just three four five and sixty time is food to show up the changes i'm using to assign st so here i'm just simply saying red area so what name you has been assigned for this just enter head so why what happened so just a name i call so even small mistake also make an error so finish with semicolon it so after the into i am just simply assign red area of or save that i got that so in 3 i am just saying red area of esd say so here red area of foot so no pixels no measurement no stand no bars it is more 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 easiest thing you could see i did nothing just a template column as it is like i write the so don't forget whatever you has been enter here as per the time should want to hear that is the major thing in grid area so in this video we are going to see background properties so it is also one of the most important things in css so now i'm just creating some main thing Say that you could see nothing. Okay, now I'm just created that. So here I'm just saying dot main, creating some spaces for that. So with this equal to some fifty pixel height is equal to some fifty pixel. Press in that. it has been assigned so now i'm just saying border is equal to 1 sorry 6 pixel solid black so if i save that i got the content so first i hope everyone know what is background color do is one of one of the background property i'm just saying to cousin so here first we are going to see background image property so background image so here i'm just saying url in url inside the code what is your name of the image one dot png if i save that i got continuous thing which means i enter one time but that image has been going a number of times so this can be blocked by using repeat option background repeat is equal to if i say no repeat so i got the image one if i say something like repeat x so repeat x if i say that so in the x direction alone it is repeated if i say repeat y and say that only y direction i got repeated thing so this is what repeat thing so after that we are going to see that one repeat to no repeat mm 
then background position you could possibly change the position to right bottom whatever the thing you want so here i got got wrong bottom save so try to consider a plus symbol top bottom left and right to default is being at here so i am just entering into center say that here i got that image so now we are going to see background size background size there you could be see three auto is normal like whatever the actual contain of that image so cover will cover complete box so contain is also like that so contain little bit of differ in the thing so i'm just showing on cover just saving as auto itself so i got that so after that background size we have been see color now i'm just entering new thing is called copying the thing and pasting here here i'm just saying to sub so inside that sub thing dot sub so here i'm just copying this three property pasting that so i got another box and just inserting a paragraph like mm, coding b saving that got on here so here i'm just saying p of padding mm, to 20 pixel okay. it will be okay so i'm just commenting this thing out I'm just saying into 70 pixel. So far, I'm just entering an image using background option. So background image to one dot PMG. So not an image style, it is URL. So I got that. So even to and just saying background repeat option to no repeat. So there are three options in background clip option. Background clip. If I save to it's not a background clip, it's background origin background clip is text inside that so background dodge in i'm just saying to border box i think it is default in border box if i say to content box so here the thing moves to the content so here the content is paragraph so the border gaps go to here and then content it has been comes to here this is what background origin so even do that and just commenting so 
delete that. So here I'm just doing another to cloud pause tertiary. Getting that, pasting that. So here, enter. I'm just entering some program content. Paragraph. Run. So paragraph content itself it came. So I'm just commenting it out. So now saving that you could see like this. So first I'm just saying to paragraph that I need a margin of 20 pixel and background color of what color lime green after that I need a border of 5 pixel dash it dash it black so I got like that so now I'm just in background clip option there are three options so first it default in border if I say I'm just using something adding to 15 pixel so here I'm just saying content box so it refer only to that particular content if I say border box if I save that it completely cover the border so the another box is padding box padding box is below that border it cover the border box cover the border and padding box it's below that border this is what background clip option so let's see on gradient video okay I did not show what is the difference between contain and cover in background size property so I make the thing clear so now I'm just setting a width and height like a square so in this square I'm just entering a background image in background image because why doesn't show means the PNG file which I have been entered is contains small in size it's not even a rectangle it's a square so you could possibly not see any changes in that so here I'm just entering file.jpg if I save that you could see nothing on that but but showing only the content of only that color so now I'm just entering background size it is not a function I'm just showing cover so you could see only off of the thing because in that square it covering how possibly even all the sides so here I'm just saying only contain if I save that you could see yeah, image with repeating property so here I'm just saying no repeat so this is the best image this is what the difference between cover and contain so contain will prefer both image size and prospector width on that image it will make a auto alignment so that is what the major difference between contain and cover So now in this video we are going to see linear gradient 
so gradients in css so gradients are nothing but a color variant in css background image not that image so here i'm just saying linear gradient first to bottom so from bottom i'm just saying red zero percent color comma to maroon hundred percent color if i save that you could see the changes in here from zero to hundred so to bottom is not an only option there is an option like to top and to bottom right if i say something like to bottom right you could see the changes to bottom left you could see that so there is another property like top right and top left you can play on that so another is radial gradient so radial gradient this is also from just need a color i give the color to red to crimson red zero percentage come on crimson under percentage if i save that you could see no changes because the color indigo if i say that you could see a radial image of this a circular circular thing this is what lady radial content so main thing is if you enter like this you can only see the color alone so the real role play of rgb content plays here the same thing you want to return in rgb content so here i just taking rgb value value so the value doesn't changes rgb of 255 comma 0 comma 0 it is what the color the thing you could see that image so here i am just rgb of 750130 i think so 75 comma 0 comma 130 by say that you could see no changes if i enter alpha thing and transparency of 0.5 here too i am just entering 0.5 in transparency oops on gba so this is what the final image so if the any of the content has been present backward to this image so that image is also view one when uses alpha content on a gradient so this is for gradients in css Okay, now in this video we are going to see transform properties, which means comes under a translate, scale, rotate, and screw option. How to use that? So first, I need a box for that. So main. So yes, closing that, saving that here. Dot main. Width of hundred pixel, height of hundred pixel, and before that, okay, I just show what is the difference. Background color of crimson. Border equal to one pixel. So the black. 
I think it show anything, so I'm just showing to three pixel. So you could see a perfect box. So before going to a transform, I just want to say each and every browser has a different, which means a different graphical properties, a different programming, different things are present in, but you are programming all for one web page only. That's the wrong way. So before whatever you programming for Internet Explorer user, you just want to use MS dash. So here you want to say justify content to flex like that. This is for This is for something like Internet Explorer. Use MS and bracket is not necessary, so I'm just you will get confused. So here I'm just closing that, copying that. So for Firefox user, you want to make something like MOZ for Firefox, you just MOZ for this transition, transform and animate function alone, this is more, more, more mandatory. So for Chrome and Safari, we need WebKit. Kit. and finally for Obera we need OS so you need to write the program for four times which means the transition property alone Obera. so here I'm just going to display block margin auto so that it has been in center um, Margin top of 50 pixel. Okay, perfect. Over 50 pixel. The program is used like this. So, first, I'm just showing transition. Not a transition. Transform translate X. So here I'm just saying just move to 50 pixel. If I save that, that the thing has been moved. You watch that. If I say 500 pixel, that's been completely sorry, friends. 250 pixel from center to 250 pixel. On that side, if you want to go to the side, use minus 250, it will come here. So, for horizontal line, okay, I'm, I'm just a little bit confused in horizontal and vertical. So, horizontal line, it will go like here. For vertical line, use transform translate y to 250 pixel which means from current position to 250 pixel that's why it's why showing in center means first the code will execute translate x which means minus 250 pixel so here translate y equal to 250 pixel the program will take the loss line which you have entered so if you want to move both the side use translate of x comma y which means first portion is the x and second portion is y 250 this is what the correct portion which means 
in default a portion is center i am first saying first in x portion i just want to move minus 250 pixel and then i am just saying in y portion i just want to move 250 pixel that's it this is what translate x and y so now we are going to see scale property so scale is nothing but scale x if i say one just a minute so one is the default thing if i say 1.5 you could see in x position it has been expanding yeah one is default value if i say five the thing which has been expanded in this way if i say to y you could see it has been in top position so for trans translate function also you have both thing five so not five three comma three in which means x three and y three it's a perfect big circle this is what scale property so now don't forget the unit first translate you need a rem property or pixel property for scale you doesn't need a property which means percentage or value 1 to 10 like that so third for rotate you need a degree for that i'm just saying 45 degree so that has been changing to 45 degree if i save to so 90 is 75 degree the box has been changes to 75 degree this is what a rotate function so now we are going to see screw function screw x also both thing for this there is no short term so i'm just screw saying 50 degree in the x position it just wanted to be 15 degree If I say to 45 degree, you could see the angle from here. So now we are going to see skew y of 45 degree. So here the angle from here, just see from here. This is what skew x and y. So now we are going to move to transition so transition is nothing but creating in a way of manner so i'm just creating some basic thing with an height background color border and making it centerized with the margin top so now getting into that so here in main dot hover when i hover the thing I just want something like um, background color changing background color to teal and border to three pixel solid silver. So saving that, you could see a hoverable state now i'm just want to make it big so transform so translate so not the translate scale scale i'm just saying x2 and y2 so now i'm just saving that you could see the box into big first why it has been showing so much force because its coding is basically first b need to make that small duration within duration the function want to execute so for that first i'm just needing a transition property so what did you want to do it's just asking what changes do you want i'm saying a background option background color so after the so next question he asking is in how much duration do you want this to complete so
so transition duration to two second i just want to be in two second so then there are so much of option so if you are going to buy a mobile so in mobile showroom they will sh show all different kind of company brand mobiles with same configuration so like that this thing also have a different thing like transition timing function but same work is in is of all the things of the working is different but basically they are do some function so they are asking to choose the function and finally did you want before work delay so that is called transition delay and just want to delay 0.5 seconds so now i am saving that just look only color so the color alone changes its original to hovering state within 2 second means hovering state but that border and scale doesn't changes back so here because i am just saying transition property only background color means do concentrate only on background so now i am just saying concentrate on all thing so now you could see the difference slowly moving all this is what a transition property you are assigning your work with the manner then how to work with what delay this is for a transition property so there is a short and property for transition so that is transition so all transition duration of 5 seconds and transition timing function of is and transition delay of 1 second so i am just saving that and removing it all again saving that so now within 5 second i got this so that is what a transition function if i take that within 5 second it's go back to the normal state so let's see on keyframe next topic so for keyframes i'm just removing all of this content and display this content is also so you can see at the top so first i'm just it is like a downloading function when you download you could see from 0 to 100 percent so for animation also you are saying that from 0 percent to 100 percent what are the work they they want to do you need to assign complete thing so first i'm just entering keyframes so here in keyframes you want to name the function the animation function name i'm just simply entering a name so for here you dividing the animation so means in animation movie if you watching that so all the thing are not take at a single time or same portion nothing so here you are saying at first this thing want to happen and second and this thing want to happen so here i am just saying at zero percentage i need a background color of um, what i want so here i am just saying black okay and at 25 percentage i just want a background color of blue so at 50 percentage i just want a background color of red at 75 percentage i just want a background color of green and at 100 percentage i just want background color to white and color to black 
sorry border color border to 2 pixel solid black so here my animation function has been finished so here first I just calling the animation name so animation name is name so after that animation duration you are saying in which how many duration did you want means in, so I just want 5 seconds so animation timing function like is in is out you have been seen in so I'm just saying is so animation iteration count means how much time you want it you are saying two times three times or infinite times you could also say like that then finally animation direction like alternate reversal alternate something like animator animation direction to alternate so if I save that you could see the changing of color to infinite time so if I save to 3 seconds you could see the first moment of the thing so here I am just mentioning some transform translate to from max 0 to 100 pixel after the I'm just copying the pasting here at 25 percentage I just want x to be 100 pixel and y to be zero just a minute I think I got confused no I'm right here it will come zero so here first I'm just saying x to zero y to hundred again I'm just saying copying that 50 percentage x to 100 and y to 100 and at 75 percentage I just want y to 100 and x to 0 okay and finally I just want a hundred percentage each zero. You could see a perfect box. So here I am just mentioning alternate, so it has been working front back like this. So if I say reversal, the function will be turned back. So here saving that you could see the function is totally different. So here also you have a shortened property it's called animation of name to 5 seconds so is I'm just staying 2 times done enough here I'm using alternate so saving that you could see 5 seconds duration first alternate that's it because I'm just saying iteration count to 2 that's what the reason this is what animation in CSS you could probably use scale and screw options like that just for all of things which I have been teached in previous lectures 
तो इन दिस फाइनल वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम ऑफ द मोस्ट थिंग इन सीएसएस और सम ऑफ द लीस्ट यूजिंग फंक्शंस लाइक द सो फर्स्ट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग पैराग्राफ टू लोरन सो आफ्टर दैट आई एम जस्ट सेविंग द हियर पी ऑफ लेटर स्पेसिंग आई जस्ट वांट हियर यू कुड सी द लेटर विद नो स्पेसिंग इफ आई सेव टू 10 पिक्सेल and see that you could see the letter with the space of 10 pixels so that is what letter spacing so there is another thing is called word spacing so word spacing i'm just also saying 50 pixel you could see the word with the gap of 50 pixel so now we are going to see some box shadows so here i'm just saying background color of gray and border of 1 pixel solid red so you you have like that so i'm just leaving some padding to 12 pixel so it will be in clear so here i'm just saying box shadow of 5 pixel in gax and 8 pixel why you could see we have box with the shadows and it on shows them so here if i save to 15 to 18 pixel you could see something more clean so you could also change the color to teal so the shadow with the different color I'm just saying to indigo so this is what box shadow so now I'm just saying text in the to leave some spaces in paragraph i just saying 50 pixel so i got a 50 pixel here 50 pixel after that only i got stop my paragraph i could also use minus 50 to go out of the box so you could also use a 10 percentage of my web browser which you want to stop so this is my 10 percentage if i say to 75 percentage of your page want to show it will show like this this is what text indent okay then now we are going to see some certain index so here image i'm just saying to find out jpg and then here class is equal to image and then put this equal to down to 150 pixel so i just want to show what is that index so here i'm just on image position absolute so the letter has been gone back if i want to show the letter up of the image i need some special content so what means if i save something like set index so here i am just saying to minus 1 if i save that see here you are saying that z index means nothing but it is the least preference so here i am just showing this image should be prefer last and then text should be prefer first this is what the meaning of z index so there is another prop property is called visibility so here i am just saying hidden so the image has been gone so you could also use in something like here animation property you could probably use for that so this is what visibility so now i'm just showing 
So here this is possible. Now just changing my image size to with this equal to 450 pixel. You could see here I'm just saving. Here the image is clean until I just save my opacity. So this is have a point between 0 to 1. If I save 0 0.2 and close that, the image will show only at the point of 0 0.2. If I save 0 0.9, it will show 90% clarity. 0 0.8, 80% clarity, 0 0.7, 70% clarity, 6, 4, 60%, 5, 4, 3, 3, you could see the difference and 2 which has been watched real so then we are going to see how to insert a button and border radius for that button so here I'm just adding a button Normal button of class is equal to button so name is also button so here this is just a normal button until I program my so here I'm just saying background color to mm, teal so border equal to mm, two pixel solid silver so after that I just want to content of color text should be white and I need a padding of 10 pixel and 20 pixel which indicates 10 pixel on up and down 20 pixel on left and right you could see a button which changes its size so here I'm just saying border radius of 10 pixel. So on clean button. So here dot button cover background color of black and color of white. If I save that, when I hover the thing, you could see changes its color. Okay, now in this lecture, we are going to see SAS. So for SAS, we need an auto compiler, which means complete code has been written in another format. So don't worry about that. SAS is one of the simplest way to write a CSS. Comparing to CSS class, class is hundred percent best in CSS. So first, you need to know how to install that. So here I'm just an atom editor. So for that, I'm just opening a package. Person who are all using atom just make. SAS auto compile so here I'm already installed that so when I'm just creating new file and um, save it as CSS here I'm just saving Two dot SCSS. So here I'm just saving once. I'm just save the function. You could see in the bottom, I got a extension of two dash min dash CSS. Here I'm just linking a style sheet which has two dot min dot CSS. I'm just adding the project folder. 
in CSS folder. So now in here too, that means that CSS I'm first writing store margin zero padding zero. So save it as so here you could see whatever I written in SCSS. So what is the main benefit of using? We'll see in few minutes. So after that, if you are not using Atom, if you are using like Microsoft Visual Visual Code. Here you also have a SAS autocompiler. Here SAS synthetically it's not this just a minute. So here you could have live SAS compiler. Just make and install this because I'm not using Visual Code. I'm using an Atom. So if you don't have an Visual Code, even you want to insert some software, which I show. So here you could say a cola, which means it auto compile thing so just download for windows or mac so download that and install that using normally so after installing just open that so here opening a visual code yeah, the thing to okay i'm just file creating a new file and saving as folder so creating a new folder called quality opening that just save it as on dot html okay after that i'm creating a new file and save it as on dot css again creating a new file and save it as one dot scss so here i am just saved in three format opening in cola browser means not a browser cola software opening here i'm opening the folder which i have been installed so if you once you have been open you got a two thing so here just press the scss and make the thing compile that's it so here if i enter store background color of what color i can take so here i'm just saving that i got here too which means definitely i just i got a change so opening what happened Oops, I not even written a single code in HTML. So HTML, so inside head, inside length, one dot CSS. So here body, saving as. So here I'm just reloading. You could see. A background color which I not even write it in a CSS fully write it in a CSS this is the third way of compiling a CSS to CSS so coming back to Atom so now first session we are going to see variables So here variables are nothing but if there are more than 50 paragraph session in your HTML 
each session of paragraph you want to make the color so for reducing the purpose so here first to assemble I'm just saying primary color to some lime green so after that I'm just adding a secondary color secondary color to Mukasin. so here I am just saving the so first I am just in here I am just creating a paragraph of class 1 program here paragraph of class 2 same program both thing I'm just calling the dot one background color I'm just directly writing primary color and text color to dollar secondary color in dot two I'm just reversing that background color to you not, need not to write all the times color name you just enter the specific name for that color and use that particular name in every space so here color to I think same thing as we do primary color here I'm just writing to secondary color so saving that here to interest saving that you could see the difference what I have been entered here this is what variables in SAS so now coming to the nesting section so it's better simplest thing one of the main advantage to class of one so in so dot one is that main so here I'm just cutting two things and paste it over here also adding a header one section of heading saving that and also something like main dash one here main space two okay just note that I'm just using for first class main dash one and for second class main space two saving that so first coming to here dot main so here I'm just adding a background color of light gray okay. so I think uh, I got that so now first in CSS if you want to change the particular content you have to call the class name but in CSS inside the file itself you can add a class and background color to black and color to white so here I'm just showing this too so now I'm just saving the you could see the difference I'm just nesting inside this so if even though I'm just inserting a class name for this using the class name itself so how to call that nothing just ambition this ambition shows this main 
this is called main so here I am using dash so dash one open curly brace inside that I am just saying background color to maroon and color to white saving that here What happened? That man. So this thing make a little bit of slower. So even though I'm just erasing this content, so now saving that. So you could see the changes. So paragraph use more priority because I'm just directly calling with the tag name so it give more preference when we call the particular tag name so here I'm just calling second to open color base background color of purple and color to Castle saving that reloading which doesn't mean so you could directly write a class name and so just a minute am version dot two so now I am correct I doesn't use dot so you could see dot the change this is what the when you class a separate name use the use dot when you are using a dash simple dash you could directly use ambition dash class name so this is what nesting using in class that's it So now we are going to see importing, which means I'm just creating a new file and save it as not in this folder CSS. Here, don't forget use underscore after the color you means whatever the name you want dot CSS. Okay, save that so I'm just moving my color content to here so after that here I'm just directly using paragraph section then here I'm just simply saying background color to dollar primary color and color to dollar secondary color so here I am doesn't inputting if I save that you could see no changes because undefined variable primary color so now if I import this using import after the quotes space here what is the name color that's it if I save that it has been saved normally you could see the difference which means I entered program in another page and just importing that page to here this is what importing So now in this video we are going to see some inheritance function. So inheritance function is nothing but so first I'm just creating here dot main. So in dot main open curly brace. I just want to make 
this thing display flux is nothing but writing a one time so I am just copying that and pasting if there is several times I just want to each and every time I just want to write display flux just if I content align items all the thing I just wanted to retype all so for reducing that purpose it will call an inheritance so writing then what is the name for that I am just simply entering a para after that opening display flux after the mm, padding of 20 pixel and background color of something like teal then border of 2 pixel dash black not black white mm -hmm. silver ok now this is the thing so here I am just removing header thing oops Getting that just copy one more time so possibly three paragraph so now here just saying that if once I enter art extend then what I, what is the name percentage para if I save that and here you could see a perfect design perfect example which means for multiple things for here this is the one time and second time third time so you could possibly make all the thing easy in the easier way so I am also changing this to to saving that you could see <laughs> this is make your work off that's what I say I'm just copying the same thing so here I'm just pasting that here I'm just saying to sub changing to sub changing to sub changing to sub ok here I have a two function if I write the code manually in CSS I just want to conclude both the thing so here this thing make my work of one curly brace just add extend simply percentage of para if I save that the thing also change that's it this is this make I just enter one time and use for a number of times in the program this is what in editance so let's see in mixing So now we are in mixing. So mixing is also something which make your it's like an inheritance, but you could pause the value. Means I'm just showing how just do main so inside that I'm just having a much paragraph of class 1 so here I am just copying that pasting several times so here just copying the same thing pasting oops 
copying the pasting here saving the so changing the class name to sub so coming to this our paragraph name is one so here I'm just adding a height of 15 pixel out of 15 pixel 50 pixel width of 50 pixel background color of gold I see that you could see a ball like a structure so each and everything margin of 2 pixel border of 1 pixel Sony black see that here possibly having two things in here I'm just adding some mixing values so not yet you will get confused so here itself I'm adding a mixing value at mixing so what is the name you want so here I'm just pressing a value I'll curly brace so fast I want a background color of gray and height of 400 pixel and width of 800 pixel so here display flex after the justify content so for here if I save dollar value here I'm just saying the same thing dollar value so that's it so coming to dot main here I'm just simply saying that uh, include of what is the name my name is name so here I'm just saying simply center pressing that saving that here you could see I got perfectly what I need the content has been saved center which I have imposed the value so here I got a width of 800 pixel height of 400 pixel and display flux the content and background color of gray so here in dot sub in color base I'm just include here name and then I'm just saying flexen so here saving that same thing here you could see that second content in end this is what main benefit of using mixing